longer? No. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And a little too grown up for ornaments like this. When I get married, I want to wake up on a sunny day, put on my favourite dress and just walk to the church. Is that better? I think you look very well. You would look very well whatever you want. <laughs> I love my cousin dearly. I've been very happy in this house. But I'll be even more happy to go home to Helston tomorrow. Ah, the wonderful Helston. You cannot be kept away. No, I cannot. It's the best place on earth. No such calamity. I have come to visit Paradise. As you suggested. Oh, hello. Miss Lennox. You, you'd better sit down. with my eyes closed. I've been visiting Father's parishioners since I was a very small girl. Did you hear what I just said? Sorry, then. I was just remembering your prescription for a perfect wedding. I should like to walk to church on a Sunday morning. Was this the path you were describing? Why, yes, I suppose so. I wasn't actually thinking of my wedding, you understand. I was wondering, Margaret, whether Please, don't wonder. whether you might consider making that walk, sharing that morning with one who... Please, yes, and Margaret. Please, don't continue. I'm sorry. I excuse me. You led me to believe that such an offer would not be unwelcome. A London girl would have known not to talk of wedding days in such ambiguous terms. Excuse me, I said nothing I am ashamed of. I'm sorry if you've been mistaken in my affections for you. Someone else. Someone else you prefer. No. I do like you, Henry. But I'm not ready to marry anyone. You must believe that I mean what I say. <laughs> 